In the vast, rolling expanse of the ocean, few creatures exude effortless charm, quite like the sea otter. They lounge on the water's surface as if reclining on an invisible pool float, paws to their chests, often clutching a rock or a freshly caught meal. In today's episode of the story of animals, we will answer the question, why do sea otters float on their backs? Unlike other marine mammals, sea otters don't have a thick layer of blubber to keep them warm in frigid waters. Instead, they rely on the densest fur of any animal on the planet, around a million hairs per square inch. That's like having the world's most luxurious built-in life jacket. This dense fur traps air, creating a natural flotation device that helps keep them buoyant. The result? Floating isn't just a habit, it's a survival strategy. Without it, they'd expend far too much energy staying warm and afloat in the chilly waters of the North Pacific. But this thick, fluffy coat comes with a catch. It requires constant maintenance. If a sea otter's fur becomes matted or dirty, it loses its insulating and buoyant properties. That's why these furry perfectionists spend hours grooming themselves every day rolling and fluffing their fur to keep it in top shape. They even blow air into their coats to improve buoyancy. A built-in flotation system perfected by nature. Ever tried eating a bowl of soup while treading water? Not easy. For sea otters, floating on their backs serves a practical purpose. It's their version of a dining table. These crafty creatures are one of the few non-human animals to use tools, often carrying a favorite rock tucked in a loose fold of skin under their arms. When they catch a shellfish snack, they roll onto their backs, place the rock on their stomachs, and use it as an anvil to smash open their meal. It's like having a built-in plate, but much more effective at breaking open tough shells. This unique behavior allows them to dine comfortably without expending too much energy. And considering they need to eat about 25% of their body weight every day to fuel their high metabolism, efficiency is key. That's roughly the equivalent of a 150 pound human eating 37 pounds of food daily. While floating alone is common, Sea otters often gather in groups called rafts. Picture a fluffy flotilla of otters, paws linked, drifting together in a sleepy social mass. These rafts can range from just a few individuals to over a hundred. By holding on to one another, or sometimes using kelp as an anchor, they prevent themselves from drifting away in strong ocean currents. Think of it as the otter version of holding hands at a theme park to avoid getting separated. This behavior isn't just practical, it's downright adorable. Watching a sea otter wrap itself in kelp before taking a nap is like seeing nature's version of tucking yourself into bed. For sea otter mothers, floating on their backs takes on an even more crucial role, parenting. When a mother gives birth, she keeps her tiny, fluffy pup on her chest while floating, nursing, and grooming it with devoted care. Newborn otters are so buoyant that they can't even dive underwater. That's right, baby sea otters are practically unsinkable thanks to their ultra-fluffy coats. But since they can't hunt, their mothers have to provide all their food to keep their pups safe while they forage, mothers will sometimes wrap them in kelp, effectively using nature's babysitter to keep them from drifting away. 
It's an ingenious and heartwarming solution to an otherwise tricky problem. If you've ever tried treading water for an extended period, you know it can be exhausting. For sea otters, floating is an energy-saving strategy. Since they don't have blubber to keep them warm, they need to burn calories at an incredible rate just to maintain their body temperature. By floating instead of constantly swimming, they conserve energy while staying warm and dry. This is why even when they sleep, they remain on their backs, basking in the gentle rock of the waves, completely at ease in their oceanic cradle. They even enter a state of partial sleep, where half their brain remains alert while the other half rests. That way, they can keep an eye out for potential dangers while still getting some much-needed shut-eye. Floating isn't the only thing sea otters do that's remarkable. These furry marine mammals play a vital role in maintaining their ecosystems. They're considered a keystone species, meaning their presence has a disproportionately large impact on their environment. By eating sea urchins, a favorite snack of theirs, they prevent these spiky creatures from overgrazing on kelp forests. Without otters keeping the sea urchin population in check, kelp forests would be decimated, leading to a ripple effect throughout the marine food chain. So in a way, sea otters aren't just floating freeloaders. They're the unsung guardians of the ocean. So why do sea otters float on their backs? The answer is a mix of survival, practicality, and sheer cuteness. Whether it's maintaining their ultra-dense fur, dining in style, socializing with friends, caring for their young, or simply conserving energy, floating is an essential part of their daily lives. And let's be honest, if you had the chance to drift through life on your back, wrapped in a cozy bed of kelp, wouldn't you take it? Now, it's time to see how much you've learned from today's episode. We've got three fun trivia questions coming up. Ready? Let's start. Question one. What allows sea otters to stay warm despite not having blubber? The correct answer is C, the densest fur of any animal. Sea otters rely on their incredibly dense fur, which traps air and provides insulation, keeping them warm in cold waters. Let's try another question. Question two, why do sea otters sometimes wrap themselves in kelp? The correct answer is B, to prevent themselves from drifting away. Sea otters use kelp as a natural anchor, securing themselves in place while they sleep or rest. Let's move on to the last question for this episode. Question three, what makes sea otters unique among marine mammals? The correct answer is A. They use tools to open shellfish. Sea otters are one of the few non-human animals known to use tools, often carrying a favorite rock to help them crack open hard-shelled prey. Great job if you got all three questions correct. If you missed any, don't worry, you've just learned some fascinating facts about these incredible floating fur balls.